In this video, I would like to invite you out to my dining room table to show you my process for getting my Christmas cards ready to mail. See you there. Okay, so here we are at my dining room table and I've got a bunch of cards out as you can see, because I've already started. Here's a whole stack that all I need to do is put a stamp on and away we go. But here's the tote that I use. I'm in a card collab. We make 10 or more cards every month. It's called 10 on the 10th and it's hosted by Kim of Metal Scrap and Chick. So I make my 10 or so cards and I put them in this tote that's in the garage. Now, I pulled it out yesterday and what I am doing my first step is to go through all of them and see which ones are stamped on the inside. And which ones are not. Now, I can tell that I made this one at least a year ago. Because it took me a while to finally figure out that I need to go ahead and stamp it on the inside first while I'm making them because it just saves that little bit of extra hassle, if you will, of, you know, having to stop and go stamp and then, then mail it. So here's how I do it. I separate the ones that are already stamped, which would be this year because it took me a couple months into this year to figure that out. So I separate the stamped from the unstamped. I, I take the pile of stamped one, unstamped ones to my craft room and then I, I work on those. I finish those up, uh, stamping, decorating the inside, what have you. And then they come back out on, onto this pile. So these are all stamped and ready to send out. Now this pile over here is for my family members. I will be seeing them. We're going to have a Christmas family reunion. And so I picked out more special cards to give to them in person. So those are in a separate pile. And these, there's 10 of them. These are for my bell choir people. So if you're watching, you already know what you're gonna be getting. <laughs> okay, so those separated out, fixed up, stamped, ready to go. I only have one of these stand-up cards. I think I'm going to be making some more of those. It's just, I have some cards that have the three, two flaps. I just cut one off and then score this in the middle to make, and then stand up. I am gonna be making more cards yet. I have my Create Cards in 10 Minutes. I'm gonna be making Christmas cards there. And then I have one more uh, 10 on the 10th episode and that way I'll have some more cards to go. This is my personal uh, Christmas journal and I have my friends, close friends and family addresses in here. And then I have addresses of all my score dance peeps. I have two, two different clubs. I'm not gonna send to everybody. I did that one year and that was kind of exhausting but I still have close friends within those groups, so I will send them cards because uh, we just haven't been together for a while and some people still aren't going back and I'm one of them. And so that's a good way to stay in touch. So there's my addresses. And my reasoning behind starting early is, uh, you know, I have my lists, but as cards come in, then I have time to respond. If, if I did not send them a card already. So 
most of my cards are A2. I have, like this one is, is a nice, is a fun fold. It's one of the stand up, stand up cards. And it's six by six, so I need a six by six envelope for that, which is right here. And I have a whole box tote of envelopes down here also. Yeah, I have some fun folds. This is a six by six gate card. That also goes in this. And let me see if I can find a, another fun fold. And here's a fun fold. And that it's a it's a an A2 that you just fold this back on itself. And I always use my cut aparts. So there's that. And then I have the, the white piece of paper to, to put the sentiment on. And then I have five by sevens. But my A2 and my A2 type fun folds make up the majority. And so that's why I go ahead and address a bunch of A2s because I'm pretty sure that I, I have enough to choose from to decide who gets what, you know. And then if I do decide to send the five by seven to somebody, I will address that five by seven. So there is my process and it will be going on probably for this weekend and next weekend, I want to try to have everything out by the 10th. That's that's kind of been my thing over the years. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.